They're the unforgettable shows that made music television a household name. This year would be my year. For once, I wouldn't be overlooked. Not with Maddie at my back door. Sorry, I slipped. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 MTV shows. We're going to be talking about the penis. <laughs> we'll be talking about the vagina. Since the 1980s, MTV has been a staple of youth culture and pop music trends. And the infectious demand for shows that catered to these demos proved that the network has always kept its finger on the pulse of what the under 25 age bracket craves the most. With a variety of styles, genres, and topics to choose from, MTV revolutionized the importance of the teen market, set the bar for competing networks, and continues to provide entertaining programming for viewers worldwide. Snooky! Ah! For this list, we're looking at the most memorable, popular, or successful shows that originally aired on or were developed for MTV. Yeah, it's huge tonight, and we are joined by an artist who has had a huge career over the last couple years. She's rocketed to stardom. Please yes. give it up for Taylor Swift. Ah. Number 10, Teen Wolf. After being bitten by a werewolf, a high school outcast struggles to balance the daily responsibilities of being a teenager with his new werewolf identity. Along the way, he encounters challenges that aid in making him a better person while learning how to harness his animalistic nature. You're cursed, Scott. You know, and it's not just that the moon will cause you to physically change. It also just so happens to be when your bloodlust will be at its peak. With its own unique werewolf mythology and origin story, this horror comedy drama reinvented the werewolf genre for a new audience, all while paying homage to its predecessors. It also had critics and fans howling with approval for several seasons. I'm fine. You should go now. But Kelly, she shits aliens, okay? Number nine, The Osbournes. What the f am I doing? I'm stuck on the weather channel. Ah! Who's crazier than Ozzy Osbourne? <laughs> what the f is that? His entire family, of course. This reality show about the heavy metal legend and his brood paved the way for celebrities everywhere to cash in on their eccentricities by leaving the cameras rolling 24 7. Please don't I get drunk or, or get stoned tonight. Don't Pissed up because I can't. Don't be, don't drink, don't take drugs. Son. No, no, I don't Please. do that. Please. Do that. And if you have sex, wear a condom. Thanks to children Kelly and Jack being at the mercy of their teenage hormones, combined with Ozzy's bizarre behavior and often inaudible speech, and matriarch Sharon holding them all together, the show's first season became MTV's most viewed series at the time. Oh, no, darling, you don't need a therapy. You just need to get up at seven and open the. Door. Viewers just couldn't help be glued to their seats in anticipation of what shenanigans the celebrity clan cooked up next. Kind of like a freak out. <laughs> Number eight, Aeon Flux. <laughs> Originally airing as part of the experimental MTV show Liquid Television, this animated series was set in a dystopian future and followed a female agent and assassin that left viewers wanting more. After six short films followed by five episodes were aired in the early 90s, a series of 10 three-minute episodes were broadcast on MTV. Aeon Flux's overt sexuality and graphic violence made it a provocative cartoon that was anything but kid-friendly. Hmm. With little dialogue and Aeon experiencing death on more than one occasion, the sci-fi program was also an avant-garde exploration of the animated medium that became so popular it was eventually adapted to a live-action film.
Number seven, MTV Cribs. Hi guys, I'm Mariah Carey. Welcome to my crib. MTV has always had a close relationship with celebrities, and this show marked the celebration of stars' successes, making us all feel broke as a result. So now what I think we're going to do is go into the ladies' lounge, but first we're going to go into my lingerie closet, okay? <laughs> oh, this is like the lingerie closet. I forgot it's like 15 closets. Cribs had sports stars, music icons, and actors giving us the grand tour of their multi-million dollar homes. I don't really use it for much. Really what I do is I use it for conversation. I get around my really rich friends and they say, I got a Ferrari F50, I say, me too. Complete with plush amenities like multiple expensive cars, closets full of designer attire, and fridges packed with Cristal. By delivering a lifestyle of pampered luxury that would make the royal family green with envy, and demonstrating an ability to let us live vicariously, this reality show went on for over 10 seasons. I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? We never ate at this table. But it's pretty though, right? Number six, Pimp My Ride. Remember when you had that old eight track in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you got a MP3 player, oh, CD player, dope. DVD that's player. Dope. Does that beat up junker in your driveway need a new look? Rapper Exhibit has the solution. This car used to be white, now it looks like a cool plaque colored car. <laughs> <laughs> Average folks got the chance to see their set of wheels spin in a whole new way, as worn down automobiles were transformed into tricked out head turning masterpieces on Pimp My Ride. All right, this girl's name is Nile. Is there any way we can play off her name, kind of implement that into the car? Let's put a river in the car. With bold new paint designs and interior perks based on the owner's personality, the MTV produced show provided car owners the opportunity to sport a vehicle that was as unique as they were and made us all want to upgrade our own means of transportation. Three of your very own PSPs on your own customized conveyor belt. Oh, yeah. We got 10-year-old kids across the country going nuts right now. Number five, punked. If you're pissed, you probably got punked. Here's the real deal. MTV decided to give me a lot of money <laughs> to make a television show where I could just mess with my friends, mess with celebrities. So I decided to create my own show, and here it is, and here we go. Look out, because you're going to get pumped. This popular hidden camera show had actor and host Ashton Kutcher orchestrating hilarious pranks on Hollywood's elite, and no one was safe from embarrassment. Federal income taxes, OK? To the tune of $900,000 that were not paid, so we sent out notices to let you see the notices. With elaborate practical jokes, Punked offered audiences the chance to see their favorite celebrities subjected to various forms of ridicule and in awkward and uncomfortable situations. Cue the tray, cue the tray. Cue the tray now. Cue the, cue the tray. Cue. Go, go, go. <laughs> It also illustrated how even the most composed of stars could have a freakout moment under the right circumstances. Yeah, they took dogs. They took, no, the dogs are, are put in a government pound and they'll be taken care of. Being both entertaining and humanizing, this program proved it pays to always have a sense of humor and to never take yourself too seriously. And thanks to its popularity, it was revived with a new version of the series in 2012 following its 2007 end. We don't want her to cry, but ultimately, that's what we're going to do, and it's going to be epic. You don't want her to cry? <laughs> well, do you want her to cry? Yeah. yeah. Number four, Jersey Shore. Show your vagina! Show your vagina, she said. Oh, oh my God! God! I'm like, holy shit, this bitch is crazy. But she's cool. Like, she lives it up. This series followed eight personality-charged roommates and their mishaps and adventures as they spent a summer at the Jersey Shore. With excessive alcohol consumption, club brawls, and household fights, Jersey Shore's bold cast and their crazy antics were a match made in television heaven. F you. F you. Oh, get out of here because you're a night beast. What a night bitch while your man's putting his in other bitches. Though its Italian-American stereotyping caused controversy, it was also filled with now classic expressions like DTF and GTL. They need to rewrite the laws of DTF around this girl. She's not DTF, she's DTA. She's down for anything. And has since sparked vast amounts of parody. 
We may not have always been laughing with these Jersey boys and girls, but we certainly never grew tired of watching them. What is it called, drunken and indecency? Drunken intoxication in the public? Drunken public intoxication? Number three, Beavis and Butthead. Whoa, maybe they got one of those dudes with two butts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. By spending their time watching music videos on the couch and finding new ways to terrorize their neighbors and classmates, Beavis and Butthead offered hilarious immaturity we all could identify with. And we will definitely be spending a lot of time talking about masturbation! <laughs> On this Mike Judge-created animated series, these rock-loving teenage rebels ignited a slew of controversy for their irresponsible behavior, violence, and poor social skills. But they also encapsulated early 90s slacker sentiments that kept us laughing for years. This twosome's bizarre adventures, stunted social awareness, and juvenile antics helped make MTV a channel worth watching. <laughs> 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 a classic program that Generation X will never forget. It was even briefly revived in 2011. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Number two, the real world. I will say that lesbians like me. <laughs> they definitely do. That's good. <laughs> Considered the blueprint for modern day reality TV, this program set the bar for documentary style entertainment. I just wanna eat you. I wanna eat you. With its careful selection of the proper candidates and personalities, the real world created just enough drama to keep viewers tuning in. I'm HIV positive. When Pedro told me he was HIV positive, it was just like, no, not him. A network staple for over 20 years, the series and its casts were always products of their times and provided a glimpse into contemporary social topics, including abortion, racism, substance abuse, religion, and homophobia. You know how I feel about homosexuality. I just think there's something wrong with it. I think it's wrong that you're gay. I do. What if I said I think it's wrong that you're black? How about? With over 29 seasons in the can, this classic day in the life program shows no signs of slowing down. Just, just leave me alone, everybody. Just leave me the hell alone. I hate this place. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Uh, I don't like you anymore! Okay. Because you're not my other friend! It all boils down to trust. Show a little trust. Mom, Dad, you're right. Can I borrow either car? No. no. I'm gonna uplift this foot right here and positively kick Monica Lewinsky's big fat ass! Come on, buddy. Wow. Come on, Black, help me out here. Number one, Jackass. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is the Cub Test. This reality series featuring professional stuntmen engaging in crude and self-injuring feats of danger was as painful to watch as it was hilarious. Ah! Oh, time out. <laughs> With memorable and inventive challenges, these wild boys were willing to do just about anything for a laugh. Although the style of the show may have looked like it was made by amateurs, these guys were actually seasoned professionals and possibly a bit masochistic. <laughs> With its overwhelming success, Jackass sparked not only several feature-length films, but also spin-off TV shows featuring some of the cast regulars doing what they do best, being jackasses for money. That's the look of a champion over there. <laughs> Man. Oh boy, oh boy, there we go. You a little boy, Chris. Do you agree with our list? Which MTV shows do you love? For more TV countdowns published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. See you tomorrow. <laughs>